Let's get serious for a moment. We're not talking about the latest sports car or a flashy new gadget. This is about something far more consequential, Britain's ultimate insurance policy. The silent force that stands watch while most of us sleep. Meet the Vanguard class submarine. It's not just a vessel, it's a symbol of national security, a technological marvel designed to protect the UK from the gravest threats imaginable. This is the most powerful, terrifying piece of engineering the UK has ever built. It's a behemoth beneath the waves, engineered with precision and purpose, carrying a responsibility that few can truly comprehend. Its job? To lurk silently in the ocean's depths, hidden from sight, carrying enough firepower to end civilization as we know it. The crew inside operates in near total secrecy, always alert, always ready. It's the big stick Roosevelt talked about, deterrence, not aggression. The mere existence of this submarine is a message. Think twice before threatening the UK. The world's a rough place and some threats can't be reasoned with. Diplomacy is vital, but sometimes words aren't enough. That's why the Vanguard exists, to make attacking the UK unthinkable. It's a silent warning, a line in the sand that no adversary wants to cross. Since 1994, there's always been a British ballistic missile submarine on patrol every second, every day, without fail. This unbroken chain of vigilance is called the continuous at-sea deterrent. While we go about our daily lives, working, relaxing, spending time with family, one of these giants is out there, patrolling the deep, ready to respond at a moment's notice. This is the UK's longest-running military operation, a legacy of commitment and readiness that spans decades. Through storms and calm seas, the mission never stops. Peace is often kept not by loud declarations, but by the quiet promise of overwhelming force. The Vanguard's presence is a silent assurance that Britain is never defenceless. The Vanguard doesn't seek trouble, it simply exists. A silent guardian beneath the waves, watching over the nation with unwavering resolve. It's the nation's final argument, a conversation ender of epic proportions. When all else fails, this is the last word in national defense. And frankly, I sleep better knowing it's out there, silent, unseen, and always ready to protect us, no matter what the future holds. Forget cramped Wa-2 subs, the Vanguard class is a leviathan. Where early submarines were little more than metal tubes, this is a floating fortress, a true giant of the deep. At 150 meters long and nearly 16,000 tons submerged, it's one of the largest submarines ever built. To put that in perspective, it's longer than one and a half football fields and heavier than 200 fully loaded city buses. Imagine a submerged office block with a nuclear reactor and Armageddon in the filing cabinets. This is a vessel designed not just for stealth, but for endurance and power, carrying the ultimate deterrent. Its three decks are packed with everything needed for 135 sailors to live for months. There are sleeping bunks, a galley serving hot meals, and even a small gym to keep the crew fit during long patrols. The hull is covered in anechoic tiles, soundproofing that makes it nearly invisible to sonar. These rubbery tiles absorb sound waves, helping the submarine slip silently through the ocean undetected by enemy ships. Special steel lets it dive to secret depths. The exact numbers are classified, but it can plunge far deeper than most ships could ever hope to follow, vanishing into the cold, dark silence. Inside, every inch is used. Living quarters, galley, medical bay, command center. There's no wasted space. Every compartment is carefully planned. Every corridor a lifeline in an underwater city. It's a masterpiece of packaging, tighter than a supercar's engine bay. Miles of wiring, pipes and machinery are crammed into the hull, all working together to keep the crew alive and the submarine on mission. The Vanguard is a self-contained world, able to vanish beneath the waves for an entire season. It can patrol undetected for months. Its presence, a silent guarantee of national security. When you see one at its base, it looks unreal too big, too smooth, too black. It's a shadow on the water, a shape that seems to defy logic and scale. It's a statement of intent, industrial art with a solemn purpose. Every line, every weld, every bolt is a reminder of the power and responsibility it carries. The engineers didn't just build a boat, they forged a shield for the nation. Years of expertise, innovation and teamwork went into every inch of this vessel and they made it enormous. The Vanguard class isn't just a submarine, it's a floating monument to human ingenuity and the silent strength that protects a nation. What powers this giant, allowing it to roam the world's oceans for months at a time, hidden beneath the waves? 
Not diesel, not batteries, but a Rolls-Royce PWR-2 nuclear reactor, an engineering marvel at the heart of the Vanguard-class submarine. This reactor is like a self-contained star burning silently and steadily, propelling the submarine through the deep with barely a whisper. Deep inside, nuclear fission splits atoms, releasing immense heat. This heat boils water, creating high-pressure steam that spins massive turbines, driving the submarine forward. Unlike old steam engines that needed constant refueling, this reactor runs on enriched uranium. A single core can last for the entire service life of the submarine, meaning it never needs to be refueled at sea. The only real limit to how long the submarine can stay submerged is the amount of food the crew can store. As long as there's food, the Vanguard can remain hidden for months. Silence is everything underwater. The propulsion system is mounted on special rafts that absorb vibrations, making it almost impossible for enemy sonar to detect. Instead of a traditional propeller, the Vanguard uses a pump jet propulsor. This advanced technology is not only quieter, but also makes the submarine harder to track, giving it a crucial edge in stealth. The nuclear reactor doesn't just power the engines, it supplies energy for every system on board, life support, lighting, navigation, and even the complex weapon systems that make the Vanguard a formidable deterrent. The reactor's power allows the submarine to create its own air and fresh water, recycling and purifying everything. This makes the Vanguard a completely self-sufficient ecosystem, able to survive independently beneath the sea. In effect, the Vanguard becomes a bubble of British territory, hidden and independent, patrolling the ocean depths for months on end without surfacing. Its nuclear heart is the secret to its incredible endurance, unmatched stealth, and the silent power it wields beneath the waves. This is engineering at its most ingenious, a fusion of science, technology, and human ingenuity, all working together in perfect harmony. The submarine glides through the ocean with the silence and grace of a shark, unseen and undetected, always ready. And that's exactly how it's meant to be, silent, invisible, and always prepared to defend. The heart of the Vanguard is its Trident missile system. 16 vertical launch tubes, each with a world-ending punch. Each Trident II D-5 missile can travel over 7,000 miles, carrying multiple thermonuclear warheads. Launched from underwater, they reach targets in about 30 minutes, faster than a pizza delivery. The accuracy is measured in meters, even after crossing continents. A single submarine holds more destructive power than all the bombs of Wally 2 combined. The system's purpose to guarantee that any attack on the UK would trigger catastrophic retaliation. No aggressor can be sure they've destroyed the vanguard on patrol. That uncertainty keeps the peace. The Trident system is the ultimate deterrent, grim, logical and effective. Imagine working for three months without sunlight, rain or fresh air. Your office is your home, gym and cinema, shared with 134 others. Welcome to life aboard a Vanguard-class submarine. No windows, just steel walls, artificial light and recycled air. Living quarters are compact, bunks stacked three high, privacy is rare. Senior crew get a bit more space, but no one's in a penthouse. Every function of a small town is squeezed into the hull. The galley is the social heart, serving four meals a day, crucial for morale. There's a gym, a library, a cinema, and family grams as short messages from home. No internet, no live TV, no phone calls. You lose track of the outside world. The crew works in six-hour shifts, keeping a relentless routine. Days blur together, but the rhythm keeps everyone focused. It's a demanding, claustrophobic life, requiring discipline and resilience. Only a special kind of person thrives here. On a Vanguard submarine, there's no sunrise, just the ship's clock and the changing of the watch. The 24-hour cycle is built around the mission. Six hours on watch, six off. Off watch time is for eating, sleeping, exercising and maintenance. The red and blue watch system keeps the submarine fully operational at all times. Drills are constant. Fire, flood, missile launch, practiced until they're second nature. Every role is critical. Every response must be flawless. Life is a paradox. Intense focus, managed monotony. The crew has no idea what's happening in the world above. Their reality is the submarine and its mission. It's a life of sacrifice, hidden from view for the security of millions. The Vanguard's main job is to stay undetected, a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek. From the moment it leaves port, its mission is to vanish into the North Atlantic. 
Stealth is an art, anechoic tiles, pump jet propulsor, and careful silent operation. The crew uses ocean layers to mask their sound, moving slowly and deliberately. Every noise is a potential giveaway. Silence is a culture. The submarine sonar listens for threats, but rarely pings, revealing your position is too risky. Other nations hunt for the vanguard, but it must remain a ghost. Every decision weighs the risk of detection. The entire deterrent depends on this boat staying hidden. The most remarkable thing isn't the submarine or the missiles, it's the mission's persistence. Since 1969, there's always been a British ballistic missile submarine on patrol, over 50 years of unbroken operations, an astonishing feat. This continuity is the bedrock of deterrence, an enemy must know retaliation is always possible. Four Vanguard-class subs rotate, one on patrol, one preparing, one in maintenance, one in refit. The patrols are secret, uneventful by design. A successful patrol is one where nothing happens. The crew waits, maintains readiness, and receives only encrypted orders. It's a silent vigil, a test of patience and professionalism. It's 2025. The Cold War's over, but the world isn't safer. Nuclear weapons still exist, and some are in unstable hands. As long as they exist, Britain can't afford to be without its deterrent. The Vanguard isn't about threatening others, it's about ensuring Britain can't be threatened. It's the ultimate lock on the nation's front door. Its purpose to make any adversary pause before acting. In a world of rising powers and shifting alliances, this insurance policy is more vital than ever. The Vanguard-class boats are aging with the Dreadnought-class on the way, but the principle remains silent patrols guaranteeing security. It's a strange, serious business, unseen, unglamorous, but necessary. The Vanguard is the silent guardian that lets us sleep soundly. For that, we should be grateful, and that's why it still matters.